So today we're going to be uh, working on uh, shrimp crawl and doing a couple different variations of that from the most basic beginner to uh, a little less beginner to uh, a little bit advanced. Uh, the variations kind of depend on the situation. Uh, this first method is what I like to show beginner beginners who haven't done this before. Uh, it really makes it a little bit easier, less complicated for me, and uh, easier for them to understand. So first thing I have to do is get down, backs on the mat, uh, feet are close to the butt so that the knees are up in the air. I try to explain that anytime your back's to the mat, you want to have your feet close to your butt so you can explode your hips to be able to loop off, uh, shrimp, do anything that you need to start moving the bend. So first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, with both feet together to shrimp crawl. I've got both feet here kind of centered. Okay, my hands are protecting me. If my opponent's on top of me, uh, whether he's in the full mount or side control, and that way I've got my hands here to defend to be able to help push them away as I shrimp out. Uh, so with the weight on me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up to one side. Now, once I turn to the side, I'm gonna push my hips out so I form an L. With that, my hands come forward and I'm pushing motion so if my opponent were on me, I'd be pushing him away and creating space for my escape. Come back again, I'm here, come over onto my side, push out. Slightly more advanced, but not really. Uh, another traditional shrimp crawl is I've got one leg down, one leg up. The leg that's up is going to be where I'm propelling my hips to. So again, this time I roll up onto the side of the leg that's down here, and I shrimp out, still pushing out. Yeah, one leg up, one leg down. The leg that up is going to be the way I'm going. So I shrimp out here. That variation is good if you're working at uh, trying to get your guard back. Uh, you have the uh, mobility of the down leg to be able to try to sneak in across the hips to be able to get the guard back. Uh, the last variation, uh, it's not really more advanced, but a little less traditional. That's kind of nice if you work some open guard stuff, is I've got one leg up and one leg down, and the leg that's up is kind of here to defend. So obviously it's in between me and my opponent. So if I want to shrimp up, this time I'm doing the opposite. The knee that's up is the way I'm going away from, and I'm going towards the way of the leg that's up. So I roll on my side here, and this time instead of pushing off the ball of my foot, I push more off the outside of my foot here. And shrimp again, foot's up, here, how? Okay, so it's three variations of the shrimp crawl. Uh, again, they all really kind of depend on preference and situation. Uh, some guys like to use both feet together, have a lot of power, especially against a bigger opponent. Uh, some guys like to just have the one leg if they're trying to fish in, get their guard back. Uh, the other one is, uh, you know, if you're just trying to really be active with uh, the up leg and keep your distance.